welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. Today is the day I'm going to start some of my pepper seeds. This is my seed box here. I use an ammo can to organize my seeds and I've got my peppers and tomatoes in this box. So I have my peppers that I'm going to start today here in the front and these are the ones I'm going to start here. So I'm going to have Dorset Naga, Scotch Brains, MOA Scotch Bonnets, these are yellow and I've also got MOA red scotch bonnets and all of these peppers here are for the Google Plus pepper contest for next year and then I'm also going to start a California peach pepper from my neighbor. These are peppers that I saved uh, from one of his peppers. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some labels made so that they have a chance to dry before I, I use them. I'm going to take four peppers, and there's only about six, six seeds in here. So we'll start out with four, and if um, depending on how many germinate, I might start some more later. So I'm just going to take these, and I'm going to fold the pepper just like that. And then I'm going to spray it with water. You can kind of see the pepper seeds through the paper towel. And spray both sides until it's pretty moist. And then we're just going to put it, actually let's get the, the label here. This is the Scotch Brain. So I'm just going to slip it inside the paper towel so I know which variety it is. And then put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm going to do that with the rest of these and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with those next. Okay, so I have all of these all wrapped up and I've got them all wetted down. So I'm going to put all of them into this one Ziploc bag, kind of separate them out a little bit. Now it's kind of cold in here that's probably about 55 degrees. so. They need a lot warmer temperature to germinate. So I'm going to use this heat mat. This is a seedling heat mat, but I use it for starting the, the pepper seeds. And usually they don't come with one of these uh, thermostats, but I bought one of these separately so I can control the temperature. So right now it's set to 75, but I'm going to increase it to 80 degrees. Okay, so you can see it's at 68 right now. So it comes with this, this little probe here, and this is what I'm gonna put into the bag so that it gets an accurate temperature. I'm gonna put it between, between these, and I'm just gonna close up the bag. There'll be a little bit of an opening here where the, the cord comes out. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that here. Actually, I'm gonna put a little blanket over the top. All right, this blanket should help keep the seeds stay nice and warm. I'll come back and check on these in a couple days and make sure the, the seeds are still wet. And if not, I'll just add some more water so they don't dry out. Okay, it's been four days, so I'm going to take these out and have a peek and see how they're doing. We're going to start with the MOA Yellow Scotch Bonnet. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so of our four seeds, it looks like we have two that have germinated. This one here, you can see there's a little root sticking out, and then this one here, there's a little tiny curly root sticking out, and it doesn't look like these other two have got any roots yet. So I think I'm going to wait another day and see if we can get those roots to get just a little bit longer, and then we'll get these put into some seed starting mix. So this is the last one. This is the Dorset Naga. 
And it looks like this one is not germinating very well. Looks like there might be a little bit of a root on this one, but I'm not seeing anything on the other three. Um, and they're pretty much all at the same, um, the same spot. There's only a little bit of root sticking out on each of them, nothing, nothing super long. So I'm gonna let all of these wait for at least one more day before I go on to the next step. All right, let's check on our seeds and see how they're doing. Let's take a look at the MOA yellow scotch bonnet and see how those seeds are doing. Hey, it looks like we've got three seeds that have germinated and the roots are starting to get pretty long so we definitely want to get those put into some seed starting mix as soon as possible because if they start getting too long they'll start growing into the paper towel and it'll be hard to get them out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you that process in the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.